be flatter because because you've got this curve and I'm used to mainly using you know things like this I'm going to get caught all the time being on the on the inside on the being concave so I generally would like it flatter so if I stuff up I'm making apologies before I even start I I quite some it's always just I have no fixed idea of what I'm going to do but I just start and then just keep building it up. But I like, what I like doing sometimes is playing around with the idea of a square and a circle. So that becomes my starting point. And so sometimes what I'll do is I'll very quickly just draw a square in. They'll, they'll become the first lines and then everything just comes from there. And, it's, and, and I keep adding, you know. So I, what I'll do is I'll just... Okay, so that's become my sort of square that I'm going to start from. Um, then I'll try this. Now, I haven't used one of these before. Now, what I actually got a bit more reverse curved on that one than the others, but that doesn't matter. Um, so what I quite like is that I've got that reverse curve going that way, so let's do something that goes the other way. So sort of... Excuse me. So we're starting to sort of get the sort of movement going a little bit. And we will possibly completely lose, I actually quite like this. Um, I might even do a bit more yeah, of this. I sort of, now do I do another one going the same way, like go that way, or do I do it within, or do I do it going the other way? And do I, how much do I want to go up to the rim? Now the rim is getting drier, so I'm not sure how it'll go up that way. So. Now the other thing that I was going to do, um, which I which I sort of have forgot, I forgot, was that I've been doing lately um, some some combing, which is which is sort of I did on one of those bottles, which I quite liked, where I'm actually combing quite aggressively, and I should have done it first, <coughs> and then working back, smoothing through it. So I'll just do a little bit of that. I won't do a lot, but so I'm just going to. Sort of continuing the square idea. But then, now you've got to be careful with this. These, any of these lines that go very deep become potential cracks when the platter dries. When you're doing a big platter and if you do really deep gouge lines, you've got to be careful that by the time you've turned it, it, hasn't, it won't crack on you. But what I, what I have been just doing lately is doing things like that and then taking something like a smooth piece of wood or metal and actually <coughs> smoothing back so getting smooth on on um, <coughs> and now it becomes how far do I want to go mm. how, how, mm. when do I stop when does it just become too busy? Yeah. But that was what I was doing on the, that big one big of those big vases. Mm. I'd, I'd done a heavy band. It's an interesting effect, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, and it, it just sort of, it, it's a, a playing with positive negative again. So mm -hmm. you, you, rather than just having combing on smooth, you've got combing and then smooth coming back into it. Um, oh, what else would I do? Oh. I have been lately doing a fair bit of this, but it might not be quite appropriate, but oh, I could do it here. Um, this is a bit time consuming, but just doing all sorts of patterning, repeat patterning. So it becomes like a leaf or something where you Both. I might I might change it on. Do it on the other side. I'll change now, it. Now, what I do sometimes, where I get really heavy carving in scruffito, is I sometimes, and it, again, it seems counterintuitive a little bit, but I sometimes wait until it's leather hard and then brush really, really thick slip over the whole thing. And so I start to actually lose some of the detail and there's just some of it coming through. So it's again that layering effect, so not, not seeing all of it, but only seeing parts of it 
glimpsing part of it. Now these bits, sometimes I work them back in, but if I think they're just a bit big and ugly, I'll take some of them off. But what I'll do when I've finished is I'll get a bit of paper and I'll very lightly rub it all back and get anything really sharp. Now, uh, I'll probably leave the circle in the middle. Well, I don't know what I could do in the middle. like a few twiggly bits so I sort of oh and I could do something different I might do something different to those two in those ones um, so one one time with students at Kareem what I got them to do was just get a bit of paper and a felt pen or a brush and just take something that they write all the time and just do it hundreds of times, mm -hmm. like four or two or one or six or seven or G if it's your initials and just do it over and over and over again until and do it as a pattern. Mm -hmm. So it just becomes a repetitive pattern. Um, and it doesn't really matter what it is. And then the final thing I probably wouldn't do a lot more with this now, but I like I like little sort of twiggly sort of drawings. So sometimes I just mm -hmm. and that'd probably be about it. I probably wouldn't do too much more than that. No. Um, Very so, quick. <laughs> so it's just it's building it's just doing things in a so it's just pattern making really. Um, and it's not really anything in particular. I, I like I've I've done this sort of graffito y sort of stuff a long time. I mean it's one of the first things I got to into when I was a student. Oh, I do less of it now than I used to. Um, I still enjoy doing it. Um, it concerns me sometimes about whether it's about anything. Uh, you know, I'm not really a drawer, I don't draw. Um, it's more like uh, calligraphy, that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, I, I, I like doing it. But the one thing you've got to do is, is not think about it when you're actually doing each movement. Mm, you've just, just got to, be just got to do it. Have the confidence just to start without thinking and do it. Uh, because if you sort of hesitate, it ends up being. Um, I, I not try a lot at home drawing things yeah. like that I like and yeah. putting brushwork yeah. just on paper and brushwork. Yeah. Well, that's and, fantastic. And then do. I kind of move from something, and then by the time I look at it, I can see yes, I like this, and no, I don't like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, um, And I, you can see that when you in a in the flow it's much better yeah and then when you come to do it on something it's much easier yeah. you just do it yeah yeah <laughs> seen, more, seen more than one person throw a pot across the room <laughs> sort of taking the bat off <laughs> ah, the, the clay underneath is coming off as well I think. a bit more weight I could feel a lot of weight, so it's not something else. it's not just the player. Okay, what I'll do now is while you're all here, I'll do the turning as well, so I'll get all that done. Um, so I'll put hands.